Hey guys, what's up? It's Nerf the Ninja here, and welcome to episode 7 of my uh, Let's Play. So I f it feels like it's been forever since I made a video on this world. Actually, since I played this world, because I haven't played it in like 2 or 3 weeks. I almost forgot about it, but I went on vacation, and now I want to play in it a ton and really get it going. So, um, as since I haven't played, even though I haven't played in it in three weeks, three weeks ago, I did a bunch of off-camera work, and then before that, I made the video. So, I do have a bunch of off-camera work to show you. It's a lot of resources. <laughs> so, I went mining with my Silk Touch that I got, I think, last episode, or maybe the episode before. It's already almost more than halfway down. And my regular Unbreaking 3 one, with the Unbreaking 3, is more than halfway down. So, I got a ton of resources. Only four diamonds, though. Oh, well. We have 24 levels. When we get to 30, I'll enchant another pickaxe. So, yep. A lot of stuff. Even eight emeralds. Oh, we need, I need to make some more swords. Ah, I don't have any sticks. Darn it. Okay, let me make some more sticks. Ah, that's funny. Press E to open your inventory. It says that on the top right. Yeah, I just I just um downloaded a new uh, Minecraft file because I just finished making the how to install Optifine on Mac video. So that's why that's there. My armor's broken a couple times. I have new armor. Still haven't uh, been able to repopulate the village. Okay, so now this is a bunch more of off-camera work. The pyramid is really going to come together soon. Voila. I laid it out. So, there is a line of... Um, normal sandstone and then I made I I dug out a layer and put half slabs down here so this is like under where the, this is lower than 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 that so the reason I did half slabs is because I don't want mob spawning in here if I don't if I don't figure out good lighting in here so that's good and also I haven't I've never really built with a half slab floor before and I want to try out something new for this build. So that took a lot of sand and sandstone to get half slabs on that whole entire thing. And we don't have much left. That's all the sand I have left. That's all the rest. So what I'm going to do right now. I really want to get this pyramid built. So I'm just going to convert all that sand to sandstone and see how much I can do of this right now. So I'll be back in like one second for you guys and maybe a while for me so be right back guys this is all i was able to do just kill this guy so it doesn't look like that much but it is more than you think because hello creeper how come i can't zoom oh whoops i didn't set my optifine controls um, all right. Hello. Um, it is bigger than you think. Well, as you can see, it's gonna be huge. It's gonna probably end up being like that tall. But um, this is m more of the pyramid than you think. It could actually be like almost half of it, because even though the height is not half of it yet, the you have to use less sandstone every time you go up a layer because it gets uh, thinner at the top. So the layers I did so far are the are the biggest layers. So it's not a so it's not like not that much I've done so far. God, I can't speak today. All right. So I do I did run out of sand. All I have is these like eight pieces of sandstone left. Everything else is gone. 
as you can see, some smooth. Obviously, this little door is not going to be the door. I'm going to have all some, like, piston entrance. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that half slab floor in the whole thing. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to do some stuff for lighting with um, the purple carpets because you can have light go through a carpet. But a carpet can only be placed on a... Um, on a, um, I can't, I don't think a carpet can be placed on half slab, so I'm gonna have to raise some of these, and which would not be very resource efficient for my sandstone, because that costs more sandstone. Alright. Okay. I'm just going to, I want to enchant the uh, pickaxe right now. So, yes, yeah, so this is all the, uh, the pyramid we're gonna work on today. Off camera, I'm going to try to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna finish the pyramid off camera for you because that wouldn't be that fun for you. You wouldn't get to see it being built. But I may just keep terraforming the mountain, try to get more sand so it's ready to be uh, ready to be made in the next episode or something. So, what I want to do is I want to get some XP to quickly um enchant a diamond pickaxe level 30. Hopefully, we get fortune. And to start getting XP, I'm just going to start farming and I'll breed the cows to get XP. So I'll be back after that's done. After some cow breeding, we have we only got two levels. But we're not too far away from 30 now. I had farmed the sugar cane a bunch of it. But I didn't do much of the uh, little, these farms. So they haven't grown much. I guess because these chunks haven't been loaded when I'm working on the pyramid. And that's what I've been doing. So, to get more XP, I'm going, do I have anything in the furnaces I could take out? Ah, anything I could smelt. Any stacks of cobblestone. Alright, I'll just smelt a stack of cobble. Give me eight pieces of this stuff. I don't think that's going to bring me up though to 30. I'm gonna have to kill some mobs. Should I go back to that spider thing or just kill some mobs tonight? I'm just gonna kill some mobs tonight. You know what I'm gonna do tonight? We're gonna get some music discs. In my old world, I didn't end up getting that many music discs. I didn't get as much as I liked. I only ended up getting like three. Well, that's because I didn't really go after them. But we're in a desert here, a perfect place to get them. And we'll try it when nightfall comes. So, I'll see you guys then. Hey, it's nighttime. I already have a zombie following me. Creeper. Ooh, that creep. Oh, there's two creepers. I want to get that. Ah, oh, creepers on all the rooftops. Oh, no. Okay, um. Well, there's a lot of mobs. Um, I wanted to get that, uh. The stone from the thing. Okay. Let's just kill you. I really don't want to come across any creepers right now. I'm not going to deal with you guys right now. There we go. Okay, they fell down the hole. Oh well, I won't be getting that gunfatter. Um, let's just kill you guys right now. Come on, don't, don't spawn any. Oh, you know what? This might be the first time I might see a... Baby zombie. I heard they're really hard to hit. Oh, we're not even that much. I'm not going to get it. Okay. Alright, let's eat a little bit. Quickly. Alright, time to get music discs. Where should I go to do this? This seems like a good area. Alright. Let's... I don't... Good. Okay, now if I hit you regularly, I don't think you're going to die. Good. Oh, baby zombie! Oh, look at there so fast! Okay, Who, where's the creeper? That's the creeper, oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap, look at this. Oh my god, look at this. 
Look at all these mobs. I don't know if this is such a good idea to get using this tonight. Come on, you guys shouldn't fight each other. Whatever. That zombie's dead. Skeleton's gonna kill you. Okay. Oh god. No, I'm stuck. Okay, good. Thankfully, a zombie hit me kind of far. Come on. I don't want any creepers to explode in this desert. I don't have much sand left to repair it. Alright. This is tough. Okay. At least I'm getting a bunch of XP. Wow. Uh, you know, I can't handle all these. Alright, I'm going to... Do I explode? I'm just going to run and go to sleep. Crap. I'm going to die. A couple more shots. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. I don't want to die. Nobody shoot me, nobody shoot me. Okay, I'm going to go right into there. No, I can't. There's a zombie there. Baby zombie! Crap. There we go. That was bad. Alright, I'm going to rest and heal up. Come on. Alright, well let me just get XP and I'm just going to get myself set. Stood here for a while. Actually, I actually went downstairs and grabbed a bite to eat. In real life, not Minecraft. What am I doing? Um, Alright, so let's get out of here. Hopefully there's no creepers hanging out. Like that time a creeper ambushed me right here. Alright, we're good. Let's see how much bo uh, skeleton bones and zombie flesh we can find. You know, I wonder, do baby zombies drop zombie flesh? I don't know that much about baby zombies. Hey, where's all their stuff? There's a creeper. Huh. Where'd they all go? There was like a billion out here. Had they... Where'd their stuff go? Maybe it despawned? I don't know. I don't think it's been five minutes, though. Whatever. Crap. That was a... Do you see how high that guy hit me? I went, like... He shot me up, like... Up to, like... That block. Huh. Whoops. I've been trying to, um... Kill creepers lately. Uh, without, like, in one swift, um... Like, going to them. Like, most people, they will, they'll, like, sprint, hit it, and move back. I... It's, you can do it just by, um... One... Like, one sprinting towards it. You just have to... All you have to do is you have to get two critical hits. And then it's dead, so you just have to go... Like, I'll... Ow. Like, I'll practice... On... I was gonna say practice on this. I thought it was on a zombie right here. Whatever. But, like, you just have to... Kind of just go forward, hit it, and then jump again and hit it. It's definitely doable. I do it all the time. Alright. Wow, I still have 27 levels. Come on, I want to go mining... I want. I need some more. I know I have a, a lot of stuff. Oh, you know what? We we have a lot of uh, materials. We're not gonna go mining in this episode. I'm going to explore. I kind of want horses. I know I don't have a saddle right now. Or do I? I may actually have a saddle. I'm not sure if I have one. Okay. What? Well, so the pyramid's gonna look cool. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Okay, um, too bad this planes was loaded before 1.6, then we could have, uh, horses in here. I want one of those really fast horses. I want to make sure my pyramid is accessible to horses. I don't think I've ever been over here. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna, I usually, like, worry, like, I don't want to load that many chunks because, like, a new update's gonna come out, there's gonna be terrain generation differences, but I don't want to have to worry about that much. Because I think I'm going to, I'm not going to touch, I'm not going to go in that water. I'm not going to sail off until they have a huge terrain generation update. Because then I could always find like an island or maybe the ocean biome will be revamped. Hello chickens. Come on. Let's find something cool. 
I don't remember which way I'm going. So we got a cool extreme hills. It's not huge, but it's cool. Some nice overhangs. Not bad, not bad at all. Maybe we can find some wolves. This reminds me of the old, my old days in Minecraft, where I just played. And it was, I was, I didn't know that much about it. The game. I remember my first world. I spawned in a jungle biome. Or no, that that wasn't my first world. I should know. Yeah, it was. I actually um. I mean, I th I'm I like. I'm not bragging, but I do know like everything about Minecraft. I'm, I'm I play all the time, but you might be surprised. I I'm relatively new to the game. I just got it last. I'm, I have I've had it for a year now. Oh, this is pretty big hills. I've had it for like a year now. I actually got the game when it was in, at the end of 1.25, and like I made my first world as soon as 1.3 came out. And I was like when Jungle Biomes came out, and I spawned right in a jungle biome. I thought it was awesome, and I like just died, like in the first night because I was like too caught up in finding a nice spot to put my hidey hole. I really just watched a bunch of Paul Source Jr. videos, so I was just like copying everything he did with all the hidey hills. All right, it's not much over here. Well, at least we know our area now. It's really awesome, extreme hills. I could build some bridges, that's cool, like from, I could build a bridge from like there, to there, to there, to there. It is pretty cool. Alright, hopefully we're going the right way back now. You know, I have to grab that, I have to grab that, um, stone that was cooking for some more XP. Alright. So, after that, um, little nighttime commotion, we couldn't even get one music disc. I thought I was going to get one because I got one of those uh, creepers, I think, down to one skelly hit. I think. I don't have that mod that uh, shows you how much health they have left. I know there's a mod that does that. But, uh, like, I I love to keep my uh, Let's Play all vanilla. Besides Ops fine, of course. Alright, I'm going the right way. Don't fall in the ravine. Have I explored this ravine? No, I haven't. Okay, but the cave that my main cave, I, I'm I'm not close to finishing it yet. There's still so much more uh, caves that are unlit. So if I if I ever want to, I could always get more orbs of that branch mining really close by without trying to find a new cave. All right, we're in the desert, and my stuff is this way, correct? Yeah, I like dead trees. I think these, I think they should, these dead trees things should, they should spawn in the nether as well. I think Mojang should do that, because it's like dead trees, you know, they should spawn in the nether. The nether's a dead land. Man, the nether needs updating. That's what I want for an update. The overworld is very nice, it, uh, it's very, uh, rich with, um, with, um, features, but the nether... Like, what are you going to do? Just mine the netherrack all day? There should be ore, more ores besides the nether quartz. Maybe some generated structures besides the fortress. I don't know. I mean, people are scared of the nether a lot. Just by going in there, like, so scared. But it's really not very scary because there's no mob that can... That's, like, that hostile to you on land besides a magma cube. I think the only... You can stay away from zombie pigmen and not hit them. Um... And blazes just don't go to a nether uh, fortress. Same with wither skeletons. So really, no, there's no land mobs that can hurt you. Just keep moving, you won't get hit by a gas either. So there's nothing to be afraid of in the nether. Alright. Let's get lucky. Is the chicken gonna drown? Let's see if one starts swimming up. Wouldn't it be funny if we got eight chickens with that? Because I know you can, there's just there's like a one in two hundred fifty two chance you can get four chickens out of one egg. All right, I've just been talking and talking. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I wish I had more sand, then I could build this thing. Ah, oh, that's so annoying. What can we do? Yeah, when this episode started, I said we'd get a lot done. All right, let's see what we can do. 
just grabbed stone. We're actually farther into the episode than I thought. We we are at like 20 minutes. So this will be a shorter episode because there's not much to do right now because I have to really get off. Once I build that pyramid, we'll always have something to do because we could always build in it. So really, I'm gonna uh, between this episode, I want to get enough sand to build that pyramid. So then we can start actually doing more stuff. So right now, I think we're just going to get the 30 levels, and then we're going to enchant a pickaxe, and that will be the episode. So, I'm just going to go on a killing rampage until I have 30 levels. Die, cows. I also actually need more uh, beef. 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 Alright. They're all mooing like they're so scared. Their 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 friends are dying. But I'm just gonna tell you guys, it's gonna get worse. Right now, you're all with each other, even though it's pretty crowded. But it's going to get more crowded when I start building automatic like automatic farms where they're all in like one little square and then it automatically burns them or something. going to get worse. It's so funny how they all run for me. I hope Mojang like puts in the code, um, puts in the code, like, like uh, they'll, instead of just running around randomly, they should, they should just run away from you. Like the opposite of a hostile mob, a passive mob, but like not really, it would just run. That'd be funny to see some like pigs like running around like faster than like anything. All right. Hopefully, like, some skellies don't stand here and start hitting my cows. Alright, come on. Can we just get to 30 levels? There we go. Alright, let's pick up all the rest of the drops. Well, I think I killed, like, th like three quarters of you guys. <laughs> maybe, maybe more. You guys are the lucky survivors. Not you. I don't like you. Alright. Yeah, it's a good time to do that because I ran out of beef. You got a lot of beef though. So I'll start cooking that. And I'll enchant a pick. Oh, you got out. Oh, he's already gone. He's running. He's a runner. No use in chasing him. Smart guy. Got out while he could. Ow. Don't hit me. Do I? Oh, no, I don't have a bed in here. What was that stupid idea I had to make it so I... I don't have a bed. I had that stupid idea that I was going to not use a door. I should just use a door. I know. Oh, well, you know what? Another thing I, I wonder about baby zombies, as well as um the fact that... uh Do they drop zombie flesh? Also, do they, what, do they drop uh, XP? But can they break down doors on hard difficulty? That'd be cool. A little zombie just like... You can't even see him through the door. Is he so short? So you just see the door cracking and nothing's behind it. Alright. Uh, come on. Um. Get some coal. I'll just, I'll just cook all of it. Um. Eight. And then how much needs to be in here? 58 divided by 8 is 7. Alright. Perfecto. You still there? No, I don't think he's there. Come on, let me go sleep. Please, I want to sleep. Oh, there goes my last piece. My last piece of steak. Well, we're stuck in our house tonight. Um, what could we do to occupy ourselves? Let's see. Can't go to sleep. Oh, I didn't even know we had that book. Probably got it from um, from one of the uh, from one of the. Um, what am I trying to say? From one of the dungeons. All right, we still have those eleven golden apples that I made before the update. Because now they're harder to make. We're gonna need a lot of gold for the pyramid because I know, like, you know, like Egyptians like loved gold. We do have forty-eight pieces here, so they they have to have gold. So I'm not sure if I said this in another video. 
I have, a, I have a really cool idea for um, the pyramid. In the middle of the pyramid, underground, like, if you didn't know, pyramids are, like, actually, they, they were used as tombs in real life. For, that's, like, that's like a grave for, like, a dead, like, king or pharaoh or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, like, obviously, I'm not going to be able to do this soon. I'm going to have to, like, get more resources and find some name tags. I'm going to find a skeleton with... Hopefully he'll have some armor on, so like a gold helmet with, uh, like, what, I, the best thing would be, like, a gold helmet and, like, gold chest plate with, like, a, an enchanted bow, but I'll definitely try to find a skeleton with some kind of gold attire, I'll give him a name time, rename him something like King Tut, I don't know, and, um, then that way he won't despawn, then I'll bring him into my uh, pyramid, put him underground, put him in a safe place, like, in glass, and I'll be the, uh, dead pharaoh, because he's a skeleton, maybe... Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Maybe, maybe you would be lucky that it's not going to be you, because you don't have uh, any gold attire. Well, I couldn't do it to you anyways. I don't have anything right now. Mr. Skelly. Actually, I think he would want to be captured by me. He wouldn't ever die. I'd make sure he didn't die. He wouldn't despawn. He'd just sit in my house. Maybe I'd feed him. I don't know. Maybe I'd feed him. Maybe I'd... Hi, hello. What, you want to talk? Alright, never mind. Maybe I'd feed you rotten zombie flesh. Who knows? Oh, you know what I have to do? I have to cook some diamonds. Whoever says cooking diamonds? Well, I don't need to cook diamonds. I could just place them right here and break them. See, this is why I wish I had a fortune right now. Okay. We have one piece of diamond ore. What time is it? I'm gonna make a clock. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing right now. I'm just doing random stuff. So we can see what time it is. I don't want to open these doors because those... Those monsters are scary. Um... Like that. Alright. It's pretty cool how you can see the attack damage. So an iron axe and a diamond pick do the same amount of damage. Cool. I wish I showed you how much damage the bow did. Alright. Wow, this is a lot of random lag spikes I've been getting. What's going on? I'm trying to like go into my inventory and it freezes. It's weird. It's like FPS. 20s. It's not good. I just got I just downloaded Optifine too. That's weird, but it it feels better than it, it was like yesterday and yesterday the FPS was like forty. That's weird. I think what I Optifine everybody thinks it really raises your FPS, it does, but I think more of it is it helps lag spikes. It like flattens it out so it's smoother. Like I got such a low FPS but I'm able to play. Because it's smooth. I don't know why. When I'm going into like interfaces, it's freezing. Like when I click on this crap. So yeah, when I go to my, when I, I'm gonna try to make the clock run. I'm gonna click on the crafting table, and it freezes. It's really annoying. Yeah, it's hard to do stuff right now. What's what's going on? Is it frozen? What's going on? It's 8 FPS. Are there like a ton? It's probably all the mobs around me. Alright. I'm going to, um, relog, see if that helps. Working now. FPS. That's better. Almost 40. It still freezes when I try to do stuff with interfaces. You know, I have far, far render distance right now. I'm gonna. Try lowering that. Let's go down to. You know what? The rest of the episode, we're not doing much. Just put it on short. Still, it's still freezing when I click the buttons. Maybe it's a problem with Optifine. Now it's there's there's not much lag right now. Right now, whoops, <laughs> didn't mean to do that. Um, there's not much lag right now. Yeah, I have a hundred one FPS. 
but it's like freezing when I yeah I just like I just clicked it like see you can see my hands I'm gonna click on the furnace and I'm gonna quick lift my hands you'll see how long it takes see look at that it's weird okay whatever Is the coast clear I can't see very far I'm on short render distance at least it's just it's very odd it's probably a problem with Optifine Alright, let me just enchant, and we'll call it a day. See, look at that. Um, why am I still holding the clock? Alright, fortune, fortune, fortune. Alright, I have no inventory. I wonder what this is. I'm just, I'm gonna test it. Um, actually, uh, pros there to one, Ethan. He, uh, he, uh, told me to do this. It's actually pretty funny. It's pretty fun. You have to guess what enchant it is. Okay. Oh, that was fast. Is this it? This is definitely a f at least efficiency 4. What if this is efficiency 5? That would be epic. Make sure I don't put my mouse on it so I can't see it. Man, this, this uh... Whenever I had to go into a menu, it's just so annoying. Okay. Um... I should I should probably try to get some coal. So it's definitely really fast. It's definitely unbreaking three because it didn't take any damage with those two hits. Oh, this is good. Oh, is there anything I can use to break? Is there any coal? I mean, I'm just gonna look at it. A oh, high creeper. No, no. Get out of it. I I have to. I couldn't look at it in time because um, right, I'm gonna do the thing. I actually hit it three times there. See, I can do it. But um. Wasn't able to look at it because it was gonna lag me out. All right, here I go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I thought we might have an efficiency five pick. That was so fast. I guess because sandstone is just pretty quick to break in general. Ugh, no, a fit. No um, no uh, fortune pick. Darn. All right. So I guess I'll just call an episode then. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry we couldn't do that much, but I hope it was an entertaining episode with all those little zombies that were destroying before. So, I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos, and see ya. Alright. Um, see, I have a lot of sand shells. Even though we took so much sand, we still don't.